world. Nano world. Nano world. Nano world. Welcome to Nano world. Nano world. Nano world. Nano world. Nano world. Nano world. The global market leaders for the tips of scanning probe microscopy and atomic force microscopy. It is a sphere of influence of nanotechnology. Scanning probe microscopy or the SMP is a branch of microscopy that forms images of nanoscale surfaces and structures using a physical probe that scans the specimen. Atomic force microscopy. A very high resolution type of scanning probe microscopy with demonstrated resolution of an order of the fractions of a nanometer, more than 1,000 times better than optical diffraction limit. Nanoscience and Nanotechnology A branch of science that studies systems and manipulates matter on atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale or the ultra-small scale, the nanometer scale. The nanometer is a unit of spatial measurement has a 10 to 9 meter or a 1 billionth of a meter. Commonly used in nanotechnology, the building of extremely small machines. Origins of Nanotechnology and Nanoscience The ideas and concepts behind nanoscience and nanotechnology started with a talk entitled There's Plenty of Room and the Bottom by a physicist Richard Feynman and the American Physical Society meeting at the California Institute of Technology or Caltech on December 29, 1959, long before the term nanotechnology was used. In 1930, German engineers Max Nell and Ernst Roska built the first electron microscope. But what is an electron microscope? An electron microscope is a microscope that uses a beam of accelerated electrons as a source of illumination. Atomic force microscope was pioneered in 1986 by Nobel Prize winner Gerd Benig along with Calvin Quitt and Christoph Gerber. But what is an atomic force microscope? It is a type of high-resolution scanning probe microscope that has a resolution that you can measure in fractions of a nanometer. Possible application of nanotechnology in the Philippines. So first, information and communication technologies and semiconductors. Second, health and medicine. Third, energy. Fourth, food and agriculture and environment. Nanotech roadmap for the Philippines. So information and communication technologies and semiconductors, health and biomedical, energy, agriculture and food, environment, health and environmental risk, nanometrology, and education and public awareness. Advantages and disadvantages of nanotechnology. So let's tackle first for the advantages. So first, offers the potential for new and faster kind of computers. Second, more efficient power sources and life-saving medical treatment. So for the disadvantages, economic disruption and possible threats to security, privacy, health, and environment. Now let me discuss to you the benefits and concerns of nanotechnology and environment, nanotechnology and health, and nanotechnology and economy. Let me begin with nanotechnology and environment. Benefits Improved detection and removal of contaminants and development of benign industrial processes and materials. Concerns High reactivity and toxicity pervasive distribution in the environment, as well as no nano-specific environmental protection agency or EPA regulation. Next, nanotechnology and health. Benefits, improve medicine and could save lives by making diagnosis and treatment for more effective. Concerns, ability to cross cell membranes and translocate in the body and no food and drug administration approval needed for cosmetics and supplements. And lastly, nanotechnology and economy. Benefits, better products and new jobs. 
concerns, redistribution of wealth, potential cost cleanups and health care, and accessibility to all income levels as well. What are other examples of nanostructures? There are many examples of nanostructures. Nature is the best manufacturer of nanostructures. Some of the examples of nanostructures in nature are butterfly wings, leaves, and, and even gato's feet. And other examples that we can find everywhere are head of a pin, human hair, and stained glass windows. What tools can manipulate nanostructures? Tools that can manipulate nanostructures are microfabricated vapors with electrostatic equation which are used for in situ sim pick and place manipulation of silicon nanowires. An environmental electron beam disposition or EEBD which was developed as a method for soldering nanotubes in electrical circuits and constructing highly conductive three-dimensional nanostructures with solid gold cores. How can nanotechnology address problems in the environment? Nanotechnological products, processes, and applications are expected to contribute significantly to environmental and climate protections by saving new materials, energy, and water, as well as by reducing greenhouse gases and dangerous waste. Nanotechnology is being used in several applications to improve the environment. This includes cleaning up existing pollution, improving manufacturing methods to reduce the generation of new pollution, and making alternative energy sources more cost-effective. How can the nanotechnology be used in prevention and treatment of illnesses? Nanotechnology has been used in the fields of prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of various diseases. Nanotechnology can make revolution in diagnostic and healthcare by nanomedicine devices. With the use of nanotechnology, scientists hope to prevent illness, more quickly diagnose, control and treat diseases with fewer side effects, and create better medical aids such as compatible prosthetics. Nanoparticles and surfaces made of nanostructures are used in many areas of healthcare research. What are the examples of nanotechnology? So there are many examples of nanotechnology and I will give you one and it is called aluminosilicate nanoparticles. This is a base wound healing nanotechnology that induce clotting to reduce bleeding by activating the blood clotting mechanism causing blood in the womb to clot quickly. Eleanor Chiso Angai Kenneth Rovilin Teresa Jinky Caminos My name is Ivani Jaremia E. Castardo Roxanne Josie 